Despite continued Russian attacks, a queer Ukrainian returns home. Pink News spotlights Edward Rees, a queer Ukrainian who fled the country amid um, the early Russian onslaught, but was drawn back home to fight for the LGBTQ plus community and for a free Ukraine. Rees is the communications officer for Kyiv Pride. Before Russians, Russia's invasion, Kyiv Pride was focused on organizing the annual march, but the war has changed everything. Today, Kyiv Pride operates a shelter for LGBTQ plus people and their families where they can stay safe while looking for a new job or a new home. Of his time in Denmark, away from the fighting, Edward says, it was a peaceful place, but my heart and soul were in Ukraine. It was such a big dissonance. I would go to my office and there were happy Danish people, but I was thinking about my hometown being destroyed or the people who died yesterday. In October, even as Russia continued bombarding Ukraine, Edward returned to Kyiv. I couldn't stay away. I couldn't stay anywhere besides Ukraine, he explains. I knew that there are a lot of people like me who are returning now and who and we feel that what home is, even if we didn't before. I didn't see Ukraine as my home so much before I left. The national idea is growing. Togetherness is growing. And it has to grow because it's one of the main things we need in order to win. They, the Russians, know it. And their propaganda, which works stealthily in Ukraine, is trying to dissolve Ukrainians. It's trying to destroy the togetherness. That's why we have to keep it and work on it even more. Edward um, says that he's also holding on to his anger. It helps him feel hope for a better future, free from Russian aggression. It's just something that I find a really hard time fathoming. You know, it's something that we've never really had to face here in the United States, war here on uh, our on our soil. I mean, since the Civil War, um, we haven't had that sort of attack or aggression, fighting, bloodshed amongst our people and our cities um, in this country. So it's something that that's that's just hard to imagine and people get away and they find safety and find work in other countries and other cities and they're still drawn back home because they feel that draw to to save their country to fight for it and it's really amazing to see these people have that level of courage including someone who is who is queer who identifies as queer and works for an lgbt organization um, you know, Russian propaganda is staunchly against LGBT um, plus folks. And, um, it, you know, it's a very dangerous place to be if, if the Russians take over. So, again, that's a level of courage that we need to applaud and just kind of marvel at because it's something, again, that, that this reporter can't quite fathom.